Hey guys, it's Jason with your Hopium Free Crypto channel. Today we're going to look at Cardano and how I am trading Cardano moving forward into smart contracts coming later this year. First up, check out yesterday's video, Bitcoin Bear Market Practice Run. Fantastic video without the hype. Check it out after this video. I'll leave a link to it at the end of the video. So make sure you watch right the way through and just click on that at the end. If you like the video, let me know. Hit that like button down below. Subscribe to the channel, bell notification icon. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Let's get started. Right. Thank you very much for nearly 180,000. Well on our way to 200. So let's get there sometime before end of financial year. Let's have a look at coin market cap. We're at 1.5 trillion. Another reminder, our 50% zone is around 1.33 trillion. So we're still holding above that for now. Bitcoin, 650 billion. ETH at 274. So we've slipped away from our 50% zone at the moment, but I suspect we'll be on the way back. Cardano, it's what we're all here for. Basically 51 billion. Binance is quite close to it at 48. Uh, I don't think we're going to be slipping out of the top 10 anytime soon, especially with the uh, smart contracts coming up later this year. So everything is looking pretty all right for Cardano. $1.59, it's holding up very well, which we'll check out in the charts in just a moment as well, considering many of these other cryptos have crashed quite significantly. And we're also going to compare Cardano to Binance, Ethereum, Solana, uh, Litecoin, and DOT. So we're going to look at Cardano in comparison to the other smart contracts out there as well, because essentially, you know what we're about. If you've been following the channel, we want to make sure that our money is in cryptos, uh, which are going to give us the best return. All right. So that's why we're looking at these other uh, smart contracts compared to Cardano. So the fear and greed index, we're at 18. Now, if you haven't seen the video on the channel, I did a fantastic video a couple of days ago. I know I'm talking up a lot of my videos, but definitely go and check this out. Ultimate crypto crash strategy. If you've never had a trading plan, and you want to get a trading plan, this is a good place to start. I'm bringing this up because we are in an extreme fear time in the market, but history has shown that these have been some of the best times to be buying cryptocurrency, especially if the market goes quiet. And that's what I'm uh, suspecting is going to happen over the next few months to six-ish months. You know, if it runs to about nine months, so be it. That's fine. You know, it's just more time to continue to accumulate before we go on our next big leg of the market. Like I've said many times before, I don't think we're going into some sort of three-year uh, bear market at this point. I think the big money is still in their manipulation stage and you know, they're just doing what they need to do to control this market and get rid of all the, the dead money, take that from the weak hands and then start to move the markets. So keep an eye on the fear and greed index. Yesterday, we were at 10, last week at 10. And last month, can you imagine that? We were greedy at that point. You can see how quickly things change, how quickly times change. And the news is a really good one to follow for that. I don't, I'm not getting too deep into any of the news, but just go, go to these headlines. Markets slump, bearish Bitcoin bites, fears, and further falls. Uh, price indicates that BTC has not yet bottomed. I know this is a Cardano video, but pay attention to the news headlines and just see what is being pushed because this is what people are actually clicking on at the moment. So they are seeing fear. But what are we seeing in the price charts? We're going to look at that. We're not seeing prices crash uh, as we have been expecting, especially when you see news articles like this. Google Trends, uh, when it loads, is essentially on the way down. We saw Cardano hit a, a high here back on around the 15th, 16th of May. And that was the time that Cardano hit its all-time high. And you know, we've been talking about Cardano on the channel for quite some time. Around that point, I thought that would be the top. I explained why in that video. It was a couple of days after. And lo and behold, this is where we're sitting now at around $1.50. So they're really simple things to see after a bit of time. So make sure you stick with the market. Don't go anywhere. Keep watching the charts. When I say stay with the market, I mean watch the charts. Set yourself up a plan. Have something to do with um, buying your cryptos. Have a plan to obviously get into the market and keep pursuing that. Now, I've got a quick article here on Ethereum. Devs close EIP1559 loophole. It could have had over it could have overwhelmed the blockchain. I'm not going to get into this at the moment. This is coming up. Just keep that in mind as well. If you want to be a holistic investor, just know what else is going on out there. You don't have to become a maxi on Cardano and only see Cardano. Just realize that there are other things going on in the market. And remember when all of 
the news headlines, the, the YouTubers, influencers were saying, I'm dumping all my Ethereum and going into Cardano. They basically were doing it all late. And that's because that's when the majority of people were looking to do that as well. So you want to be doing it generally to the opposite, but just keep an eye on what else is going on out there. And then all of a sudden you see everyone like selling off Cardano to get into Ethereum and Ethereum's sitting at three and a half, four thousand dollars already. It's like, I need to get into Ethereum now. And you know what happens? We hit forty four hundred and we dump back to seventeen hundred dollars. So just don't go chasing the packs and keep watching the news that's out there. The Alonzo testnet we're looking at here has uh, come out and we're looking at the news. What is it? The addition of Alonzo upgrade will now give Cardano the ability to compete with other decentralized finance ecosystems like Ethereum, Binance, Polkadot, Solana. Keep that in mind because these are all the smart contracts that we're comparing Cardano to in the charts. Alonzo will be rolling out in three phases. So it's not just all in one hit. So yes, we've got the first phase. We've got Alonzo blue, white, and purple with each opening up to more of the public until it fully integrates. The process will take 90 days, resulting in a smart contract enabled Cardano by the end of August. So we're basically June now, June, July, August. We've got three months to that. I think something is lining up in the charts for that period. You know the whole buy the rumor, sell the news. If we get a bit of a consolidation period for the next couple of months and then we start to run up in August, that basically lines up pretty well with what's going on here in the news. Plus, maybe we see some consolidation over the next couple of months for Bitcoin and then that helps push the price of Cardano up to, you know, it's $3, $5, whatever target we look at next. So keep that in mind. We've got, we've got some good stuff happening here. Twitter also released from... Uh, IOHK, Input Output Hong Kong, 28th of May. Today, we're delighted to report we have successfully spun up the first testnet in our Alonzo rollout. So that's on Twitter. If you guys don't have Twitter, definitely get yourselves an account. Go follow some people to follow with the news. Follow myself. See what I repost. All right, let's have a look at the chart. ADA, USD, and Solana. So I've got this first. We're just looking at the bounce here. We've seen some good volume and essentially this just means that ADA is moving up against Solana. So if we had sold all of our Solana at this point for Cardano, for ADA, we would now be up 145% against Solana. Obviously, you know, it doesn't, it doesn't mean we actually did it, but it's just to have a look at the chart to see where the strength is lying. And at the moment, Cardano looks like it's coming back from a pretty big crash against Solana because Solana had a fantastic run. All this means is Solana was moving up faster than Cardano. Cardano was still going up. We know that. And Cardano had a sideways period for February, March into April, right? And so Solana was going on its big run, whereas now Solana has had a big pullback and Cardano has taken the lead. That is our first one there. Let's just go have a look at the ADA USD chart. And this little purple zone I've got here is basically a zone that I'm happy to be accumulating Cardano. Now, there's a few problems that people have. One, they don't have enough money, so they don't have enough, uh, say, stable coins or fiat to get into projects or you know, to be continuing to buy the dip. If that's the case, I would say go and review your portfolio, see if there's something else that is not performing as well and start to get onto the bandwagon of things that are accumulating and really keep an eye on what your portfolio is doing, which is why I look at all of these cryptos against Cardano. So Solana looking a little bit weaker. Maybe I don't sell my Solana. Rather, instead of doing my dollar cost averaging into Solana at the moment, I'm possibly going into Cardano. This just ideas. This is not buy recommendations and it's not financial advice. It's just ideas on how to structure yourself in case you're wondering, how do you develop a plan? How, how do you know when to buy, what to buy, how to buy? It's, this is the sort of thing that I look at. In the case of DOT, this is ADA versus DOT. We will go back to ADA versus USD. Uh, DOT was looking okay for a bit, you know, they were they were really competing against each other and now Cardano has just absolutely blown DOT away. That's all this means here is that uh, one ADA is now worth a lot more against a, one DOT than what it was a couple of months ago. And so we now see ADA and DOT at 0 0.078 of a DOT. Uh, it's blown out of its trend lines through this area. so. I mean, it doesn't mean it's going to keep going. Maybe we have a pullback, but I definitely think that we're probably beyond this zone for the time being and we're going to start 
basing out at some higher levels and continue to step up a little quicker against DOT. However, the, dif the difference here is that if DOT gets its parachains going on and, and uh, the news starts to shift over to DOT, then we might see the pullback on Cardano. So just keep all of these things in, in, in mind. If Remember, if DOT is one of those projects that you want to uh, be accumulating. You know, this could happen, this could happen, we could do this and then move up. There's a lot of scenarios here. We have already moved up a fair way from the, uh, the, the zone that it was ranging between. And so from this swing low to where we currently are, you know, it's up 120% against DOT. Let's make things a little bit easier again and just check out ADA versus USD, the main one that everyone looks at. So this is DOT and uh, US dollar. So I've got this zone here. As I said, if we continue to move around in this range, I would love to see Do uh, Cardano just stay above the old all-time highs of that dollar fifty-five. So consolidating at the dollar fifty, dollar sixty, seventy, eighty, it's a good sign. You know, we're uh, building higher stepping stones. That's what we want to see with Cardano, especially as we continue to dollar cost average in. Obviously, we want some lower prices, but we're just finding that strength at higher prices. So that's the good thing here. Fifty percent level, dollar twenty-six. That's where we don't want to see it break down and hold for too long but if we happen to get some spikes down into those areas and it stays there for a few hours or a day and you can catch it then this is the area that i like to be picking up some dot and if i didn't have some stable coins some dry powder then i would be selling off some of those other projects so we've looked at the portfolio in swiftx if you don't have an account for swiftx check out the link down below uh, you'll get ten dollars of free bitcoin when you sign up now this is for the aussies and uh, you know the internationals, you've got Binance links down there as well if you want to use that. So this is the portfolio. We're basically back to break even, uh, even after that massive crash that we had. So we started this back in February at the highs. What I'm talking about here is we have Wi-Fi. You know, I think Wi-Fi will do well, but the strategy here is if I don't have any other uh, stable coins or fiat, then I might sell some of my Wi-Fi and buy DOT. Should DOT fall back into this zone? And I'm like, where am I gonna get my money from? sell something and go heavier on one of these uh, great cryptocurrencies that I like long term. You know, find the ones that you want to have long term and then you just basically start to consolidate again. Get rid of some of the other projects, maybe have a little bit floating around, consolidate into those other projects and uh, life becomes a lot easier as well because you're following less projects. So that's another strategy if you don't have the funds on the side. You've got it sitting in some other cryptos. So .USD is looking all right at the moment. Not much has really happened today. I have this on a weekly chart so that we're just clearing out some of the noise. That's why yours might look a little bit different. Volume's okay. I suspect we'll get lower volumes over the next few weeks, maybe a couple of months. Uh, ADA BTC, important one to look at. We have broken into major highs, not all-time highs yet, and potentially we want to see a consolidation up here. So potentially uh, we might get that. Obviously we don't want to see it just fall back down to these zones, but the lowest point I would like to see is a test of the old highs at 30, uh, sorry, 3,000 sats and then start to form its highs again. But right now we're sitting at 4,500, so reasonably okay. We still have a bit of volume up there, so so far so good. ADA ETH looks pretty strong. We are sitting on some uh, hitting 50% resistance from the top to the bottom, 50% is there. The major 50% we are above, so I suspect we're going to do a few days sideways, maybe a week or two, something like that, but there's no definite answer yet on Cardano against Ethereum, right? So I'm not out there just dumping all my ETH to go into Cardano at this point. Uh, I do want to see some breakouts at, at some point to say that Cardano is a little stronger than ETH. So that's all I'm looking at here. Not too bad either way. The best thing out of this chart is that we have broken above the old resistance levels and we look to be consolidating at higher levels. So you can see that the trend has now strongly turned in Cardano's favor. Keep an eye on this chart as uh, Ethereum rolls towards its hard forks later this year. And uh, you just you just wanna understand where the money is shifting to. So that's what we have this here for. So we've looked at Cardano against Bitcoin, Cardano USD, Cardano ETH, Cardano Dot, Cardano Sol. Quick look at Litecoin just for shits and giggles. It's just blown Litecoin away. This is why we need to really pay attention to what we're holding in our portfolios. ADA BNB. BNB has been a big one. This has just been choppy as down the bottom here. So I'm probably not even going to pay too much attention to this. You know, if BNB is in your portfolio, 
great. But overall, <laughs> we got highs, we got lows. It's it's basically a big range up and down. It'd be a hard one just to keep playing this swing. So I'm just going to focus on A to USD, A to BTC, A to ETH, DOT and SOL because they are the other competitors here in the smart contract space. Yes, BNB is as well, but you know, essentially it's it's on it's on Ethereum as well. So look, SOL, DOT, they're the ones I really want to know that my ADA is moving up against. If we get a fall on ADA USD, then I could potentially sell off some of my other cryptos to get a little more DOT, get into that those good staking rewards. If you haven't staked your ADA yet, uh, check out the link down below. If it's not down there yet, it will be up there very, very soon uh, on how to stake your Cardano with the Investor Accelerator staking pool. We've had a fantastic run so far. It is luck. This is the whole way the system works. It's pretty much on luck. And we've got uh, several blocks. I think we've hit a return of about 25% per annum just in these last few blocks. And that doesn't that doesn't go for the whole year, but we've been very lucky with our staking pool and we've hit some really good blocks. So check out all the details down below to stake your ADA from your Yuri wallet or Daedalus wallet. Very simple to do the details down below. I'll catch you guys at the next video or on Twitter. Go follow us over there as we work towards 20,000 followers and also on Instagram for daily Q&As all up here in the stories. Don't worry about the baby photos. She's cute, but daily Q&As up in the story. So go follow us there as well. And of course, if you are trading, check out SwiftX and Binance down below for the internationals. Thank you once again, guys. I'll catch you at the next video. Make sure you've liked, subscribed, bell notification icon. Go do those before I say goodbye. And I'll see you guys at the next video. Until then, have more fun to get more done.